uh, we are talking about show jumping and you brought us um, some tips and tricks. Um, the first um, exercise that you gave us, um, we've got two ground reels, uh, 60 feet in between. I had to look it up on the online calculator. That is uh, 18 and a half meters um, between each other. Um, very basic. What do we do with it? It's a very simple exercise. And I just put the two rails out. You can make them a little longer if you want. And in a smaller ring, it, it works well at that distance. And I just try and get my riders to, to work. But then I do the same thing to work on the horse's adjustability. It's Usually it's five comfortable strides if you're not going very strong. And just working on straightness, it's just very simple and basic. Working on going straight and before the turn, not letting your horses cut in or not letting them bulge out, keeping nice tracks and alternating turns on the landing side. And you practice it at five strides, then collect, add a stride in six. And if you're more advanced, you can add to seven strides and then leave out and do a four strides down it and always keeping that connection with the leg and hand. So you have kind of feel the horse underneath you. You have to mold yourself. I tell a lot of the riders, mold yourself around the horses so you feel what's going on underneath, not always looking down at, at what they're doing, but just alternating anywhere between four and seven strides and alternating it and trying to make each stride even. I mean, that's the main thing and just getting yourself adjustable and the horse. And it helps when you do courses because the courses now are very technical. You have a lot of, a lot of lines that are forward and then you have to get the horses to come back right away. And it's just teaching your, yourself to be adjustable and your horse to be responsive. Okay. Um, that's the, let's call it the warm up exercise. Then um, as a second one, um, we've got, I think it's drop balls. Uh, what, what is this? I use, I use raised cavalettis mm -hmm. and they're about four feet apart, which I'm not sure what that is in meters, but probably. Well, I think 120 something, one meter 20. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll believe you. So, uh, and I have them on opposed opposite sides. And usually I have like little boxes that I have at home, but they're, you can put them anywhere from six inches to, to, I think it goes up to 14 or 16 inches to, by rolling them over and alternating sides kind of on the ground on one side and up to 12 or 16 inches on the side. And it's almost, and you have the horses trot through those. And it's kind of an exercise. I like to compare it to the football players when they run through the tires. And it's kind of agility and their coordination, and it works on the horse's coordination. And you can really feel the suspension in the horses. And you know if you have your horse too, too heavy on its front end, then it's not going to be able to trot through there correctly. Or, or if you don't have enough trot from behind, enough impulsion, then they get they get very plain and they kind of stumble through. If you have the impulsion behind and then you get, you can feel the horses elevate. And that's what you want is to feel their hind end active underneath you. And it's a really good tool for gauging that. So I like that exercise too. And, and these are exercises that don't take, it's not a lot of wear and tear on the horses. They're very easy exercises and there's not a lot of pounding on them. And they are things that you can feel what's going on underneath and making sure that you have your horse where you want it and working on the connection that you have with the horse. Um, and to you at home, to our viewers, our fans of the Insider, the Insider at Home or Intersider, all the 20 questions, once again, as always, thank you very much for watching, stay safe, bye bye, and see you next time.